40 of the last 56 weeks coming into this season. And they were not ranked. Gonzaga was not ranked prior to Mark Few getting there. Hickman follows up his own miss. It's a city, basically. It can hold up to 5,000 sailors and, again, up to 90 aircraft. Well, that's what it is, though. It's a, what a play by Anton Watson. Wow. He is such a good defender. But he's got great hands. Like, that's a long recovery to make. And Bounces free to Walker. The Spartans still have it. 13 on the shot clock. Tough move inside. Good D by Hickman. And here come the Zags. Boy, the, the defense for Gonzaga after the last timeout has really ratcheted up. Bounces free to Walker. The Spartans still have it. 13 on the shot clock. Tough move inside. Good D by Hickman. And here come the Zags. Boy, the, the defense for Gonzaga after the last timeout has really ratcheted up. And the rebound out of the freshman for Michigan State, Jackson Kohler, 6'9", out of American Fork, Utah. And this time, it's the Spartans getting free for an easy two. And the rebound out of the freshman for Michigan State, Jackson Kohler, 6'9", out of American Fork, Utah. And this time, it's the Spartans getting free for an easy two. A. Hogard's eyes here, immediately taking the ball and looking straight up the floor. And just a bullet pass. Hearing about the selflessness and the courage and the teamwork that is exhibited on this ship and across the military each and every day. Yeah, Captain Bauerschmidt, you talk about a badass. She's unbelievable. And try to get Michigan State to cough the ball up. Michigan State the last couple years had some turnover problems, and Gonzaga's trying to test them out. But A.J. Hogard has made some good decisions. You're one of the guys for Reese's basketball crew. Two of the other guys are here, by the way, too, right? Timmy. A little high pick and roll gave him a, an angle on the wow. side. He had wide open. Now, how does he get around there? Hickman, Salas, and Smith. That's a, that's a pretty serious up top for Sissoko for the slam. See, just a, a middle pick and roll. It draws Timmy. They tried to tag, but Strother didn't get his body between Sissoko and the basket. And just a terrific pass by an excellent pass. They're service to this country. Hogard up top on a design play for Akins. Sissoko cleans it up. Yeah, Sissoko had a wide open lane to the basket after that. Michigan State has been much better. The high pick and roll and then Julian Strother just let Malik Hall get behind him and nobody there to pick up Sissoko. Watson just a little bit late. Akins great cut. But the Zags getting some hands in there, knocked it away. Sissoko with the hesitation and the flush. Down to seven seconds. Hickman, no. Rebound Sissoko. They've got some time. Walker up top. Count. Oh, what a play by Michigan State to end the half. Down to seven seconds. Hickman, no. Rebound Sissoko. They've got some time. Walker up top. Count. Oh. What a play by Michigan State to end the half. And they did confirm that it is a good basket. And you can see that Holloman gets rid of it just ahead of triple zero. So Michigan State leads by seven. They might be the best team in the country or able to play with just with anybody in the country last year and still played very well in spite of the injuries. Reed back into the game for the Zags. Jump hook, yes. Timmy again being guarded by the freshman in Polar. Here's the help. Doesn't matter. Boy, such spectacular footwork. Watch him take him up the lane, and he tries to get in front, and then spins back against the contact. Just, that's just spectacular footwork. Got right underneath the right arm of Colt. Well, he's not, a, he's not a shooter, so he's got to get the ball into the paint. Brooks, in too much of a hurry, turns it over. Strother lays it in. No, but the follow is there for Reed. Jay, Michigan State does not have a made field goal in the second half. They've been to the line a bunch, but they don't have a field goal yet. Walker into Kohler, rejected by Timmy. Shows you what a good shooter he is. He can make the, make the shots in the wind. Timmy showing good patience. They're going to count it and a foul on Sissoko. He's going to take advantage of it. Got him up in the air. Talk about 
scoring below the rim. Walker has it knocked away. That looks incidental. The ball was out. Three-point lead, Michigan State, 6.20 to go. Gonzaga with the ball. Timmy's got to get that ball. He was wide open. Salas with a baseline floater. Timmy pushes it up and in to get him back within one. And the Zags get a shooter open if they keep doubling Timmy. Boy, all kinds of contact. Hauser working hard. Strother forced it up. Timmy with a rebound and one. And after that shot went up, I mean, he's trying so hard. Hauser is to get in front. So he's fronting him. Then the shot goes up. Now all of a sudden he's behind him. And and Strother doing a good job making it difficult for Malik Hall to get the ball. Nice quick move by Hall. Turnaround. Good. Big time shot by Malik Hall. Give it back to him. Strother go. does. Good pass fake. Bolton for three to tie. Well, he gets down on the deck. That what ball's his. Strother, no. But the follow is there for Smith. They were down as many as a dozen. Walker ties it. Boy, that was a big bucket because Gonzaga was really packing in its defense. And Walker really, that was a huge bucket by Tyson Walker. Bolton challenged the follow, though, for Timmy. They just can't keep him off the glass. Trying to isolate Malik Hall down the low post against Strother. Strother's actually bigger. Wow, nice move into the paint. They got going a little bit early. Yeah. They got to get going now. Here comes Hall. Now it's Walker. Four seconds. Walker in some trouble. Akins. And Gonzaga will win it. Akins missing a three with about a second left on the clock. And Gonzaga comes back from a double digit second half deficit. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.